that's that part done. Now we actually start making the hands punch. At the moment our hand to hand combat is empty. So we can switch in between the weapons, but we actually can't do anything when the hand to hand comes. So I'm gonna say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close and curly brace. You wanna copy this if statement. You wanna place it one more time in here and one more time in here. So if one two three yeah. One if statement above all of them, one if statement inside of inside of the first one. Then one more if statement inside of the second one. So the first one's gonna say if gun select manager dot sorry is equals equals to gun manager dot hand to hand. Then we're gonna say if punch timer is equals equal to zero, then we can punch. And then we're gonna get the input. So input dot get key. Sorry, get mouse button. And zero is the right key, I think. Yes it is. And then I'm just gonna call the functions in here. And the first function I'm gonna call is the hand to hand system, open bracket, close bracket, closing curly brace, closing semicolon, I don't know why I keep saying that. Then the sounds, hand to hand sounds, like so. And then after that, I'm just gonna make the punch timer equal to the punch cooler. So punch timer equals punch cooler. Save that. And the hand to hand combat system is not done. <laughs> I forgot one thing. Underneath this, no. Underneath this one here, this is statement that gets the input. Put an else. Open right close bracket. No. Open curly brace. Closing curly brace. And all we're gonna say if we're doing nothing, just play the idle animation. I don't know why I'm scrolling down. Sorry. So hand to hand model dot animation dot crossfade. Open bracket, close bracket. Put the idle animation name. Idle hand to hand. How many seconds it takes to fade in? Comma 0 0.5. And save, we're done. Back into Unity. I'm just going to make sure there's no errors at all. Okay, super. Let's run the game. And let's see what happens. So if I press two now, as you can see, the idle animation's praying, uh, praying, <laughs> playing. So that's a good thing. So if I punch, it should play random animations and make the whoosh sound. Okay, it can't find some of the animations. Sometimes, I don't know why Unity does this, uh, so the best way to fix this is click on the animation name, so left punch for example, go over here, select left punch, copy the name, how it's exactly spelled over here, go back into the script and paste the names again, so I'm going to paste that, then I'm going to do the right punch next, this wastes so much time. Okay, that's that one. Right punch. So that's there. Then it's the left uppercut. And then the right uppercut. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, then I'm going to take that and paste it there and hopefully no more errors. Save. 
hit enter. Run it. There you go, that's working. Now to see if it takes damage of a bad guy. So I just placed my AI damage script onto the simple cube. And if I'm close enough and start punching it, there you go, it works. It's gone to zero. Perfect. So if you're close enough in the good range and start punching, the AI damage script's going to take damage, sorry, the bad guy, and eventually die. So, yeah, that's how you create the hand to hand system. But before I do finish, I just want to check if this would cause a problem. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select C4, no sorry, hand to hand. I want to see would it automatically change that to the fists. Aha, as I thought. No, we're going to quickly sort that out as well. <clears throat> Alright, it's back into our ratio script. And on the top, let's make a start function. Nope, a wake function. So function await, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, and closing curly brace. The reason I'm doing this is because, like you saw, that when you select a different state, and um, I selected um, hand to hand, it didn't update it. It was still holding the M4. We want that to change. So in order to do that, we're gonna quickly go into the awake function and all I'm gonna say here is if on awake gone select manager is equals equals to gone manager. And if that's equals to M4, then I'm going to disable the invalid object and turn on the right one. So where's my keys? Keys, keys, okay. I'm just going to copy these two lines here. And paste them in there. And in this case, that's correct. So copy this if statement, paste it there, change that to hand to hand like so and put that to true and this one to false so this hopefully should work save this go back into unity let it update no errors good so hand to hand is selected hopefully when I start the game it should immediately change to the fists there we go, that's what we wanted. Perfect. So I'll just test that one more time. If I select M4. Perfect. Now this is going to be very handy when I start teaching you guys cutscenes. So for example, in a cutscene, this guy got whacked or beaten up or whatever, a bomb explosion. He lost his gun. And what you want to do is you want to start calling these um, different objects and set them for the script. So after it cuts you can say set the enum to hand to hand so he lost his gun and go into fist mode and that pretty much covers the hand to hand system and um, obviously it's going to be worked a lot more with in the future when I get more animations done and start adding AI and etc but other than that yep as always guys thank you for watching